Hey guys. Hey guys, welcome to the sixth episode of the Sparring Tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to counter K3 and K4. Last week, we went over the fact that you use K3 or K4 for an opponent that's sliding back. So today, if your opponent thinks you're going to slide back, what do you do? Don't move back. For an opponent that's using K3 or K4, his targets are in P3 and P4. He's not even looking at P2, P1, or P0. So he really wants you to move back. So if you move back on him, he'll be able to hit you. Only if he's using K3 or K4. So these are your safe zones. This is the danger zone. Think of this interaction as if you're fighting someone with a spear with your hands. So, we're here, and a spear has a sharp end at the end. So, if you move back, you're going to get hit with a sharp end. But, you can avoid getting hit and even hit him if you move in when he swings. So, instead of moving back on a K3, or K4, go ahead and move in or use counter without moving back. So long story short, if an opponent likes to use long kicks, counter short. Here are some videos of me uh, just getting blasted when I'm trying to use K3 and K4 and my opponent uses K1 without moving back. Take a look. Let's go over how we got to this strategy. So, in the beginning, your opponent was racing you. Boom. And you adapted to the race by sliding back and using K1. And now, he adapted to your slide back by trying to catch me by using K3 or K4 while I'm moving back. And now, I'm adapting to his K3 or K4 by countering without moving back. And I'm not saying that the fight will, all the fights will progress in these steps, but you should be thinking with this type of train of thought and adapting to the situation. You shouldn't be using the same techniques over and over again, unless it's working. <laughs> I forgot my watch. Uh, Richard, do you know what time it is? Oh, uh, yeah, it's uh, 12. No, it's homework time! So, today for your homework, you're going to practice K1 without sliding back against K3 or K4. So, you can choose any K1. It could be a punch, it could be a round ass kick, it could be a bad kick, whatever. The important thing is that you don't move back and your opponent comes at you super aggressively. So, we're going to show you uh, just a quick example, maybe about 10, 15 seconds, and I'm going to be using K1 roundhouse kick without sliding back. I am sure you have noticed these obnoxious t-shirts with my face on it. If you want one of these, go ahead and click in the link in the description box. And it's really important that I hear your feedback. So if you have any questions, message me, comment, call me on my phone, send me a page, beeper, note in a bottle and send it in the ocean, I don't care. Ask me questions because if I don't get your feedback, I can't tell if I'm going too slow or too fast. This way I can cater the tutorials for you. And if you want to go to the next episode, click right over here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, 
click right over there. And as always, thank you for watching The Yoon Show.